back in the Roman times when the generals conquered something, they, they didn't just give them a dinner, they give them a big parade, and the guys would go down every tell them they were great and everything, and, uh, but there would be a guy standing in the chariot behind the general, and he would, the whole way, his job was to say, memento mori, memento mori, which loosely translated from Latin in New Yorker means, oh buddy, there's going to be some bad times ahead, don't get used to this. So, uh, you know, I, I wish the BWAA, when they gave me this award, would have got me one of those guys, too. But it's, uh, it's an honor to follow Keith in this award. It was amazing at his job. I've got a lot of respect for Keith. Um, we managed for two years to keep this away from Agus, but I think it's probably definitely going back to him now that he, he has the heavyweight champion in the world, so God bless him. Um, I want to thank my wife. Uh, Keith took all my good wife material, but my wife, uh, my wife puts up with all of this. And, you know, I told her one day I was retiring and we were going to spend the rest of our life together, blah, 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 blah. And a year later, I'm like, I'm going to manage a couple of fighters. And five years after that, we got 90 fighters and I'm on the road and the phone all the time. And I, I don't know how she puts up with it, uh, but she's the greatest. You really are, baby. You're the greatest. And I want to thank my parents and my grandparents uh, who built our family really from the ashes of the Depression and the Dust Bowl in Oklahoma. And they built it on a foundation of, of hard work and education. And those are gifts that never stop giving. And not to embarrass her, but my little sister's here, who uh, is from that, that, that great line. And of course, I want to thank the two Teofimos. Uh, guys, I have just a big enough ego to believe that I would have got here someday no matter what. I'm not stupid enough to think I would have got here this fast without you guys. Uh, to the field of Gordo, thank you so much for believing in me and for really giving an old man some of the great joys of the second half of his life. Thank you. I love all of you guys too. You know, I, I always joke, I, I had a moderately successful career in several endeavors in New York, and I always used to, uh, ego, you know, you'd fantasize what your New York Times old bit was going to say. I now know, it's going to say, no matter everything else I did, it's going to say, Dave McWhorter, he managed to get Fimo Lopez. So, and that's okay. I, I'm, I'm a beast with that. Um, so one of the focal points when we recruit for Split T is I tell people, you know, I'm not just some guy in a, in a living room with a, in his underwear making phone calls. You know, I have all these, we have a company, we're a company behind you. Although I did once say that to somebody while sitting in my living room with my underwear on, which got my wife to give me a big uh, eye, eye raise. But Joe Priambo was the first guy ever with me, and he's been with me almost since the beginning. He's been wonderful. Uh, Ron Rizzo is with us now, Brendan Sagalas, Ryan Rackton. Uh, and Brian Cohen is with us, but can't be here because he's got like 11 female world champions and he's off with one of them right now. So, but those guys, I, I couldn't do anything split T without them. Some weekends we have six, seven people fighting in different cities. Um, it, it's, it's a huge job. But that's been the great part about boxing for me, the relationships. I, I, I get to work with great people, I get to represent great people. Uh, nobody understands how hard these kids work. It's, it's unbelievable. And, and they take all the risk. Um, I get to be on the road with great people. I've made some wonderful friends in the business, and I'm thankful for each and every one of you. I, I wanted it for all my life to one day be recognized the best at something, even if it was for one day. Uh, in the 70s, I was sure I was going to win the National Spelling Bee.